this is obsidian a s m a don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell for future videos person shooters, strategy games, or, hey, goat simulators, they're surprisingly popular. No? Okay, well, they're, uh, that's a bit of a stroke of luck, because uh, all our copies of Goat Simulator 2023 are out of stock. This one I want to talk about is Horizon Zero Dawn. And this is for the PlayStation 4, which I assume that's the one that you've got, because the PS5 at the minute is... Oh! You managed to get your hands on one. Box 
mysteries. So, if you like single player games, this is the one for you. Um, I really enjoyed it. If you're a completionist, you can get lost in this video game. And spend many hours going around, getting all the memories, uh, doing all the quests, and just seeing everything. Um, it's a lot like the new Tomb Raider games, because you're using a bow and various arrows and a spear to fight these massive machines that are also like animals. Really fun game. Let me know if you want to know more about it. So, does that sound good? Is that something you want to put in your basket? I can do your deal on this one. I mean, it's... It was originally released in 2017. So it's quite some time ago now. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's put that up there. And now that you said about a PlayStation 5, that opens us up a bit. What else do you like? Sports games? Not so much. Okay, how about cars? Yeah. You like car games? So this is, again, a bit of a favourite. It's called Burnout Paradise Remastered. Now, if you're as long in the tooth as I am, you'd remember the original, which came out on the PlayStation 3. Rima. 
casters as well is they're pretty cheap so for this let's say I can do it for £15 yeah maybe 10 12 ok got a deal at 12 ok good so I'll do 2 for 1 with Horizon this because this is pretty cheap already. We'll find you another one. Hopefully. The horizon. I'm just going to have a look through some others here. my job. Get you the best experience. So this is Bloodborne from from software along with PlayStation's own Japan Studio. So Bloodborne you may be aware is one of those um, really challenging same vein as uh, Dark Souls. I mean, it's by the same company that does Dark Souls, but this isn't necessarily in the same universe. It can be viewed as, can be viewed as separate. But Bloodborne is a little bit different in the sense that Souls games, um, you do quite a lot of dodging and you've got a shield. In Bloodborne, you don't have a shield. You've got guns, um, but it's a lot more kind of nimble. And you play, if you have a look at this, as a hunter. Hunt your nightmares. Face your fears on the decaying streets of Yarnum in the critically acclaimed action RPG beloved over two by over forgive me two million players. Delve deeper into the nightmarish world of Bloodborne with the Old Hunters expansion, which includes new weapons, environments, and story. Now whilst this is technically a one player game, you can have other hunters um, join your world either as a friend and help you along the way if you get stuck, which you're probably going to get stuck, or they can join your world and you can duel it out. See who's the better hunter. The storyline, again, I won't go much into it, is very, very interesting. A lot of demons, uh, a lot about the old blood, um, and all set in this kind of classical gothic city. Um, yeah. Really is interesting. I always remember uh, one fight from this against an amygdala. And if you know your science, which you might not, but the amygdala is the part of the brain that has 
advertises itself as nightmarish. This is a lot more fast-paced than Dark Souls 3 or Dark Souls, um, but it's very similar, as you'd expect. spirit. Yeah. 
reckon you'll remember this guy. Crash Bandicoot. So this is the Insane Trilogy. Do you remember it? You do? Okay, great. So, quite like Burnout Paradise, this is a remaster of the original three PlayStation 1 games. So Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot 2. Uh, Cortex Strikes Back. And Crash Bandicoot 3. Warped. So, as it says on the back, uh, it's the three full games. 100 plus levels. And two playable characters. Um, these are the quintessential platforming games. some others. Okay. Well, that wasn't bad, was it? You know, to get you started. You'll get a good few hours on these. So, just to re recap, I guess. You want to go with Horizon? Good choice. Let me know how you find it as well. Um, it's a lot of people's kind of game of the year. 17. That was when it came out, yeah. Burnout, that's a completely different style, and you should have loads of fun with that. S still holds up after all these years, in my opinion. Then you went for Borderlands 3, the looter shooter, uh, with the questionable jokes. So, you should have fun with your friends there. Um, again, if you ever come back in, let me know who your favourite character is. Most people tend to go for, like, Moxie, but, you know, or Lilith. Uh, but there's a load of new ones in this. So, love to know. And of course, then, you went for Crash Bandicoot, the insane trilogy, which is classic. Of course you would go for it. Um, so what I'll do is I'll get these 
wrapped up. And, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, sort out the bill. And hey, thanks for, uh, thanks for supporting a small business. Your time here. <laughs>